Going ahead with goats is a real commitment from the government to again try and uplift what we know is a really important part of landowners and the future of Western New South Wales. So a $1.2 million investment over the next three years to really try and uplift the goat production and the goat potential across Western New South Wales. Last year, goats in Australia were worth on export dollars about $298 million and the vast majority of goats come from New South Wales. So we want to do everything we can to keep uplifting that value and increasing potential for people across Western New South Wales. What that looks like is actually supporting people with genetic productivity, so more research into the best ways of providing uh, and getting to a better producing goat into the future, but also on the ground support. So literally staff on the ground to help support producers get the best they can out of their goats. It's all part of a way forward for Western New South Wales in an area we know has huge potential and going ahead with goats is one way that we can make sure we're giving everything back we can to landowners in that part of the state. So part of what we're also trying to do is really future-proof this so there'll be scholarships available for university students who have a particular interest in goats and, and looking at where goats are looking at being in the future. Uh, that'll be done through the Condo Research Station and a really great opportunity to encourage young people and have that bit of a career pathway around goats. Going ahead with goats is a real commitment from the government to again try and uplift what we know is a really important part of landowners and the future of Western New South Wales. So a $1.2 million investment over the next three years to really try and uplift the goat production and the goat potential across Western New South Wales. Last year, goats in Australia were worth on export dollars about $298 million and the vast majority of goats come from New South Wales. So we want to do everything we can to keep uplifting that value and increasing potential for people across Western New South Wales. What that looks like is actually supporting people with genetic productivity, so more research into the best ways of providing uh, and getting to a better producing goat into the future, but also on the ground support, so literally staff on the ground to help support producers get the best they can out of their goats. It's all part of a way forward for Western New South Wales in an area we know has huge potential and going ahead with goats is one way that we can make sure we're giving everything back we can to landowners in that part of the state. I think we need to be more diverse with our markets and, uh, and, and I think that that will come with, with numbers uh, and it's all about supply and demand. Uh, hopefully uh, in, the, yeah, in, in the years to come we can, uh, we can get this industry up to four or five hundred million dollars a year and, and have no trouble uh, selling and you know, marketing that, that amount of meat. Uh, so New South Wales government's role in this project is just um, helping to bring all the stakeholders together. As industries mature, um, you know, gaps are identified and I think um, the timing of this project is pretty critical in filling some of those gaps and ensuring that the, the supply chain um, for the goat industry is um, as efficient as possible and um, as productive as possible. It is a real boost to those producers, depot operators and processors that have built this industry from the ground up. I can just imagine them working away, mustering, drafting or unloading goats, hearing this announcement and having a big broad smile on their face because it is a vote of confidence in where they're taking the industry. I can just imagine them working away, mustering, drafting or unloading goats, hearing this announcement and having a big broad smile on their face because it is a vote of confidence in where they're taking the industry.